so bad. We'll get back to this after yeah. the fact, but I will be we'll be talking <laughs> about G's adventures in Fortnite soon. <laughs> Hey, yeah, we'll get there. Okay, so James Gunn has been fired from the Disney company for jokes from old tweets. We don't know how old. About about 2010. 2010. Oh, that's actually quite recent. About pedophilia and rape. James Gunn has then, obviously, and, and actually there's tweets in question were posted back in 2008 and 2009, and these ones you said 2010. He's deleted his Twitter account, but before he did, it says here he posted one last message. It says, many people who have followed my career know when I started. I viewed myself as a provocateur, making movies and telling jokes that were outrageous and taboo. As I have discussed publicly many times, as I've developed as a person, so has my work and my humor. I think what this is all about is just the fact that it's just Horrible timing for this stuff to come out. Yes. Because two years ago, like two, I think it was about not even two years ago, the Weinstein thing wasn't, you know, a thing. The Me Too movement and um, I think Time's Up movement also weren't in the forefront. And now it's just open season on everything. My issue with this is that he, him, I, not, my issue with this is the fact that there's people in comedy that joke about this stuff all the time. Like, there's comedy specials. There are so many jokes about this stuff. And I'm not condoning any of it. But for anybody out there that's watching or is listening or whatever, don't act like you didn't laugh when those jokes came up. See, I will add on to that saying, like, oh, I see how the jokes messed up. Yeah. Do I make the, Do I make the same jokes? Yeah, I do make the same jokes. I've made jokes just as bad or even worse than this. So I'm not going to crucify the guy saying I hate James Gunn now and I'm going to like bandwagon yeah. because everybody has made these jokes. Yeah. He was just unlucky and put it on the internet yep. and did not delete them. Yeah, that's the... that's Family a- Guy. Family Guy is a great example by Brandon Stern. That is a great example. Nobody Fam- or very little people complain about Family Guy. And when they did, that was early on in the first season. Mm-hmm. Then there was huge petitions going out and then they sent... Then they got it back on the air and they've been on ever since. And they do way worse things. Like he just In said, comparison okay. to these tweets, they do way worse things. Who they, do we got? They do those jokes all the time and it's always funny, says Brandon Stern, Family Guy. And everyone laughs. Yeah. Uh, Julian Mitchell is t- tweeting in here, I guess. I was going to say tweeting. I don't know. Pitching in. He says, <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Is tweets were not funny and they're pretty bad all the way. But I don't think he's a pedophile. I just think you said a lot of stupid shit that he sh- just shouldn't have said. Well, and the reason he shouldn't have said it, as opposed to a family guy, which is on, like, public, like, yeah, it's on Fox. TV. Yeah, um, And even if they bleep out certain things, you can still you know what you they're get saying. what they're saying. Um, I think because it's Disney. That's why. Uh, that's the biggest thing. If it was anywhere else, I mean, he'd still get flack for it, but I don't think it'd be as bad. Yeah, you weren't a you weren't a fan of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, uh, but a lot of people were. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume One was a massive, massive success. He's part of this organization that does have to make sure that their image is top notch and follows the Disney model. Family is coming and spending money on our rides, watching our movies, cartoons, all sorts of stuff like that. And, but at the same time, I don't know if it's fair because I when when the original tweets like two thousand eight and nine. Nobody knew who James Gunn was, mm-hmm. and no one knew him until 2014 when Guardians of the Galaxy came out. And these quotes were still four years before that came out. Um, and I think this is vastly different and should not be put in the same category as the allegations towards a Weinstein, a Louis C.K., a Kevin Spacey. Those were uh, uh, the, the Cosby, right? Mm-hmm. Those were physical acts that they did, Okay. This is just a person tweeting jokes out. But I can understand from Disney's standpoint, it's still shitty, that they need to maintain a certain image. My question to you now is, how screwed is Guardians of the Galaxy 3? If I said anything like the second, very. Okay. Jokes aside, but no, I don't know. Like, obviously, if it, it does turn out to be like The Last Jedi, where it's two different directors doing the same vision, or trying to finish somebody's vision. Right. Very screwed, because I think that was horrible. But I think if they just... Wait, you said The Last Jedi was two different people? No, you mean Solo. No, Last Jedi. 
JJ and it was Ryan Johnson. No, Ryan Johnson was a lead on there. JJ was just a producer, but he he no wasn't way. influencing. Oh, you mean the like director? The directing. Force, the Force Awakens yeah. was a JJ. The mm-hmm. Last Jedi. See, I'm thinking even more so of the Solo, which started off with Lord oh, Miller, okay. and then Ron Howard well, came and switched it halfway. Snyder and Whedon. But the thing is, this didn't start filming yet. They just wrote a script. For sure. So yeah. they can still use a script. It's not For like sure. they're going to be like, oh, well, this guy touched the script. Let's toss it. Like, they'll probably still use a script. There's 100%. Somebody else to fix it up a bit and make it their bit their own. And they will not give them any credit for no. it. 